Well, hey there, Breakfast Club. I'm Peach, and it's Sunday. And I'm not feeling very well, so I'm going to try to make this as quick as I possibly can. So, it's the end of my week, and I enjoyed hearing and seeing people's responses to the topic of which silly, supernatural, paranormal nonsense would they like to be true. From the beginning, many of the responses in the comments dealt with extraterrestrials, which makes sense for a science-skeptical bunch, since that actually is the least preposterous claim. Well, except for people who claim to have been kidnapped by aliens and taken aboard spaceships and had unpleasant things done to their anuses. Paul fancied the idea of astrology, which I guess would appeal to people who, like me, want to know about the immediate future, what's in store for them. Of course, since our star signs are based on an optical illusion, there's really no way that the planets can tell us anything about our personalities, hopes, dreams, or anything that pertains to us individually. JJ secretly wants to be Dr. Doolittle, and I get that. Being able to verbally communicate back and forth with non-human animals would be amazing. I'm often wondering just what exactly is going on in my gray girl's kitty brain when she's staring at me with her blank kitty expression. d and Cole digs cryptozoology, which can be a lot of fun if people didn't spoil it by actually believing in giant undiscovered primates that have never left behind any corpses or droppings. Bionic Dance likes aliens, which I've already mentioned. And I was quite interested in how Wayne Watley was going to answer. Being that he is quite spiritual, we obviously wouldn't agree on what is and isn't nonsense. That actually would make for an interesting discussion. And finally, Josh, ZZZ Giant Awake, discusses interest in the concept of destiny. What I've noticed from answers like his and mine and Paul's is this human desire to take some of the guesswork out of life. We all want immediate answers to questions that can only be answered with time and experience. The main difference between us and those who actually believe in the paranormal is that we've accepted that there are no immediate answers. And save for some unforeseen tragedy, we govern our own futures. To wrap up the topic somewhat, I'll also mention that the woo that I'm least impressed with is the idea of ghosts. Not the afterlife per se, but ghosts, hauntings. What is the purpose of spending eternity rattling doors and producing orbs and photographs? It doesn't even make sense. I get why people want to believe in an eternal paradise or even an eternal punishment, but hanging around the house that you happen to die in, stuck in some ever-repeating limbo that may or may not be glimpsed by some passing human for a split second? Seriously, what's the point? At any rate, that's all from me today. Be sure to subscribe to the Breakfast Club channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you all here next Sunday. Paul, you're up next, and we will see you tomorrow.